Today we are in Alingsos commune at an area known as the Ingared Ridge. And here is a number of um, early Bronze Age uh, burial monuments, which are called Rose or Cairn in English. They are built up of several hundreds, even thousands of smaller stones, which are built up into a sort of small hill-like structure. This barrow here has been robbed or uh, excavated at some point in time, as we can see by the large funnel that's in its middle. This would usually not be there, as the barrow would go completely across and everything would be filled in with stones. When these cans were built up, around many of these, around the outer perimeter, a ditch was dug. And we might see this here, uh, where the, the soil sort of dips down a little bit. I hope we can see this later in the um, 3D model. At the very outside of this can, or of many cans of this type, uh, there is a very carefully built row or circle of stones on the outer side, which are called a curbstone ring or curbstones. And we might see these here. Again, there's hopefully something we see in the 3D model later on. The stones that have been removed from the can to go down and find probably the burial have been piled up on this side of the can, as we can see, because here the, the stones sort of spill wider than on the other side. I'm standing inside the funnel of the Rös and use my iPhone to begin recording it on a, an app called Polycam. So we need to move around in it and just take up everything that we can. Go around corners so it can record everything. The blue on the screen shows where it hasn't scanned yet. And then it's essentially just filling in the entire area as best we can. Here we see a model of the can that we recorded using the Apple iPhone and the app Polyscan. We have taken it into a software called MeshLab, which is able to view the 3D models. We can see that it is a very good representation of what we found in the field. The scan shows us the funnel in the middle of the tomb, in which somebody tried to loot probably the central grave chamber. We also see that the stones spill a little further on this side of the can, and here they are tighter, the round form is better preserved, which means that whoever looted this probably dumped the stones on this side. The edges of the scan are a little bit frayed. This is how far we recorded the surrounding area. And we see that there are a couple of holes in the scan, which we could fill go back, going back to the site and remove probably vegetation or other distracting features there. And then the mesh lab, you can view it, you can change the lighting angles to observe stones and stone sizes. And you can also apply filters, I only show one here, like gradient scaling, which takes away the texture, so like the, the photo realistic surface, and replaces it with a with a untextured surface model that helps us to observe better the surface structure and the surface shape. In this, we can see there is a sort of rectangular hole in, right in the middle at the deepest point of the funnel. And this could en actually indicate where the um, covering plate of the stone cyst that would have been at the center of this burial was sitting, where people probably dug down to remove whatever they could find in this central burial chamber. It's a very fast and easy surveying method which, which you can take up 
heritage that is still visible in the landscape very, very fast.